Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with the 7th unit financial mathematics. Here I will discuss about compound annual growth rate and solve the questions from exercise 7.5 of the CBC handbook or the student support material. First we will see what is this compound annual growth rate. This compound annual growth rate it depicts the cumulative performance of a particular variable over a period of time via compounding effect. Now we are familiar with the compound interest formula given by A is equal to P into 1 plus R the whole raised to N. Here this R it represents the compound annual growth rate. Now here we will have the investments ending value, investment starting value and the number of time periods. We need to find the compound annual growth rate R. It is often used to evaluate the performance of different investments by an individual or enterprise through annual rate of return. So this is with respect to compound annual growth rate. Now we will see the formula for compound annual growth rate. Now let us take if EV is the investments ending value and SV is the investment starting value, N is the number of investment periods and let R be given by compound annual growth rate. Then we are familiar with the formula, compound interest formula, A is equal to P into 1 plus R the whole raised to N. Now this amount is nothing but this is the investments ending value. So this is EV and this P, this principal P is nothing but it is the investments starting value SV into 1 plus R the whole raised to N. So from this we have ending value upon starting value equal to 1 plus R the whole raised to N or we have ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by N this is 1 plus R or from this we have R is equal to ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by N minus 1. Now this will be a decimal number if we want to have it in terms of percentage, this is into 100. Since compound annual growth rate is usually represented in the form of percentage of a number. So here we have the formula for compound annual growth rate. It is given by ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. Where EV is the investments ending value, SV is the investments starting value and N is the number of investment periods. It can be in terms of months, years, etc. And this compound annual growth rate is usually represented as, as percentage. Now moving on to the exercise question from exercise 7.5. The first question, an investment has a starting value of rupees 5000 and it grows to rupees 25,000 in 4 years. What will be its compound annual growth rate? So this is a direct question. If we use the formula and substitute the values, we will get the answer. Similar question was asked for, uh, for 2 marks in the sample paper. So writing the formula carries 1 mark and getting the final answer carries 1 mark. So first let us write what is given. Given starting value is rupees 5000, then ending value is rupees 25000 and N is 4 years. We have compound annual growth rate as ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by N minus 1 into 100. So ending value is 25,000 upon starting value is 5,000 the whole raised to 1 by 4 minus 1 into 100. So this is 5 raised to 1 by 4 minus 1 into 100. Now 5 raised to 1 by 4 is 1.4953 minus 1 into 100. This is 0.4953 into 100. It is 
49.53%. Therefore, compound annual growth rate is equal to 49.53%. So, writing the formula carries one mark and final answer carries one mark. Next question, an investment has a starting value of rupees 2000 and it grows to rupees 8000 in 3 years. What will be its compound annual growth rate? So here again everything is given directly. Let us write the formula and find the answer. First let us write what is given. Given starting value is rupees 2000. Then ending value is rupees 18000. And n is equal to 3. Now we have the formula for compound annual growth rate as ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. So ending value 18,000 upon starting value 2,000 the whole raise to 1 by 3 minus 1 into 100. So, this is 9 raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 into 100. 9 raised to 1 by 3 is approximately 2.08. So, this comes out to be 1.08 into 100 or it is 108 percent. So, the compound annual growth rate is 108 percent. Next question, calculate compound annual growth rate from the following data. So, here we have year revenue in rupees. So, for the years from 2015 to 2018, the revenue is given. We have to find the compound annual growth rate. So, here the starting value is rupees 3 lakhs and the ending value is rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand. Now, here the revenue at the end of 2015 is given as 3 lakhs. So, which means at the beginning of 2016, it is 3 lakhs. So, the number of years will be only 3, 2016, 2017 and 2018. So, the revenue at the beginning of 2016 is 3 lakhs and the end of 2018 is 4,50,000 and the number of time periods is 3 years. So, using this, we have to find the compound annual growth rate. So, first let us write what is given. Given starting value is rupees 3 lakhs. Then ending value is rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand. And n is equal to 3. Now, we can find the compound annual growth rate using the formula. It is given by Ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. So, this is 4,50,000 upon 3 lakh the whole raise to 1 by 3 minus 1 into 100. So, this is 1.5 the whole raise to 1 by 3 minus 1 into 100. Now, this 1.5 the whole raise to 1 by 3 is 1.1447 minus 1 into 100. So, it is 0 0.1447 into 100. So, it is 14.47 percent. Therefore, the compound annual growth rate is 14.47 percent. So, using the information which is given here, the compound annual growth rate is 14.47 percent. Next question, Mr. Kumar has invested rupees 20,000 in year 2014 for 5 years. If compound annual growth rate for that investment turned out to be 11.84 percent, what will be the end balance? So, here we have the starting value which is given and number of years is also given. Compound annual growth rate is given as 11.84%. We need to find the ending 
value. So first let us write what is given. Given starting value is rupees 20,000. Then n is 5 years. And compound annual growth rate. It is 11.84% or it is 0.1184. Now we have compound annual growth rate is equal to ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by n minus 1 into 100 if we have it as a percentage. So if we have it as a decimal number then let us write it as it is. So from this we have compound annual growth rate plus 1 is equal to ending value upon starting value the whole raised to 1 by n. So from this we have compound annual growth rate plus 1 the whole raised to n. It is ending value upon starting value. Therefore ending value is given by starting value into 1 plus compound annual growth rate the whole raised to n. So we have all these values starting value n and compound annual growth rate when we substitute each of these we will get the answer. So it is 20,000 into 1 plus 0.1184 the whole raised to 5. So it is 20,000 into 1.1184 the whole raised to 5. So 1.1184 the whole raised to 5 is approximately 1.7497. So this is equal to rupees 34,994. Therefore, ending value is equal to rupees 34,994. All these are not are not required. We can even directly write ending value equal to starting value into 1 plus compound annual growth rate the whole raised to n. This is the componentless formula which we already know. We can even directly write this formula alone. Last question. Mr. De Naresh has bought 200 shares of CityLook company at rupees 100 each in 2015. After selling them, he has received rupees 30,000 which accounts for 22.47% compound annual growth rate. Calculate the number of years for which he was holding the shares. So here if we see the starting value is given, ending value is given, compound annual growth rate is given. We need to find the number of years for which he was holding the shares. So here Mr. Naresh has bought 200 shares of CityLook company at rupees 100 each. So the starting value will be 200 into 100. So given starting value is 200 into 100 which is rupees 20,000 then we have the ending value. Ending value is rupees 30,000 and then the compound annual growth rate it is given as 22.47%. We need to find N. We have compound annual growth rate equal to ending value upon starting value the whole raise to 1 by n minus 1 into 100. This implies 0 0.2247. 22.47 is equal to this expression into 100. So 22.47 upon 100. 0 0.2247. This is equal to 30,000 upon 20,000 the whole raised to 1 by n minus 1. So this implies 1.2247 equal to 3 by 2 the whole raised to 1 by n. Or we have 
1.2247 the whole raised to n. This is equal to 1.667. Now taking log. When we take log on both sides, we get n log 1.2247 equal to log 1.667. So from this we can find n. So n is log 1.667 upon log of 1.2247. Now log 1.667 is 0 0.2219 upon log 1.2247 is 0 0.2219. 0.88. So, this is equal to approximately equal to 2. Therefore, n is equal to 2 years. So, the number of years for which he was holding the shares, it is 2 years. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.